Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Soto AI-07, complete set from Kamen Rider 01. Uh, basically this one is a long time coming. I do apologize, I was trying to stay on top of these for the longest time and I was doing a pretty good job. And then I think 7, 8, and 9 just all happened at the exact same time. So I uh, got a little behind. We're already up to book 1 for Saber, so I need to try to catch up on these. But as you can see, this is one of the smaller sets. There's only uh, six boxes inside and two each for Rampaging Vulcan, Jin Burning Falcon, and Ichigata. So very excited. I think all three of these look really, really good, especially Ichigata. I love that suit. Really, really, really cool. So let's go ahead, open this box up so we can take a look at the smaller boxes inside. Whoop. Spin these around. So as you can see, here are box one and two. For Rampaging Vulcan. And then here are three and four for Jin Burning Falcon. Kind of hoping this guy doesn't have too many stickers since he's mostly just red and black, but we'll see how it goes. I'm sure that's not the case. And then last but certainly not least, we have Kamen Rider Ichigata. Very big fan of this suit. So this is going to be really, really fun. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put all three of these together, and then we are going to take a closer look. Alright, taking a closer look at all three, fully assembled and stickered up. We'll start over here on the left with Rampage of Vulcan. He looks pretty good. And nice thing to note, most of the gold you're seeing is paint. Just this little bit here on his shin his toe, and um, this little bit on the side of his abdomen are stickers. Everything else is paint. Uh, you have some stickers here on the side of the head. Very multicolored, but fun. They were a little difficult to apply, but they're staying pretty well. Uh, this little bit here on the shoulder, this little bit on the arm, stickers. Uh, but down here on the leg, paint. So that's pretty cool. Of course, the belt is always stickers. All of the red on the wings are stickers, but they were really easy to apply because it's all just a smooth, flat surface, and they stick really well. And I love how kind of metallic-y, shiny they are. Like, the light just plays off them, and they look great. I really like the look of those wings. I'll take them off so you can see a little bit better. Really, really sharp. I like that a lot. Plus, if you don't want the wings on all the time, you can... Uh, put this little piece on instead it's kind of the folded up little chicken wing <laughs> uh, just hanging there on the back so if you don't want him to have the wings deployed all the time you can have the folded up wing option there but yeah he looks good I mean typical Soto articulation ball joint in the head you have a hinge and swivel in the shoulder you have the uh, shoulder pad on a uh, hinge you have a bicep swivel up the little, the little wing piece fell off the back that's fine you have pretty much 180 degrees in the elbow, uh, wrist can swivel, uh, waist can swivel, and both of them are because you just, both of these can unpeg, so if you want to switch out the hands, I guess technically you could swap torsos too, I never thought about it, but you could. In any case, uh, kick to the forward, kind of kick to the side, it's got a nice ball joint there in the hip, got a thigh swivel, over 90 degrees in the knee, and then you got a ball joint in the ankle. So, really nice range of motion. You have the shot riser with the Rampage Vulcan key inserted. Looks pretty sharp. I'm going to put these wings back on, because let's face it, they're cooler. Uh, for extra accessories, he does have a uh, shot riser on the belt. So you can unpeg this piece on his belt and then take this out and then pop that on so it looks like he has it on his belt uh, he also has an extra set of hands as you can see and then you can kind of store all these pieces here on the base which I enjoy so put the little folded up wing there and the extra shot riser piece you can have him peg into the stand you can have him peg into the uh, base up here Sticker looks very nice. I guess technically this is the stand and this is the base, so I, I mix those two up. But you guys get it. You know what I'm saying. I like to use these. I think they're cool, especially with wings. This piece really keeps coming off, and it's annoying me. Stay on there, yo. 
Anyway, Rampage Vulcan looks great. I really like them quite a bit. I really like those wings. They really pop. They really look sharp. Next up, we'll move into Burning Falcon, who also has wings, but they're not as big. They still look good, but not as good. Let's be honest. But he looks pretty sharp. I mean, red and black is a classic color scheme, so he looks pretty good. Now, his eyes were painted, which looks really sharp. I think you have to put these uh, gray pieces on the side of his face. Those are stickers. Um, let's see what else. He's got a pretty decent amount of paint. These are stickers here on the side. This sticker here on his shin. The uh, knee pads. But the feet are painted. The uh, wings are stickers, but it's just, you know, two big stickers. So if we take this off, this is one big sticker and this is one big sticker. And I think it looks pretty good. And you can see here on the base, they also give you a back piece to put on if you don't want the wings deployed. So that's cool. Plus you get an extra set of hands. And then uh, much like Rampaging Vulcan, you get a slash riser on the belt. So if you want to connect that to his belt, you can do that here. Instead, take that piece off. Otherwise, here is just the slash riser in his hand to use as a weapon. So I'm going to leave the wings on because I think they look cool. But he's got pretty much all the same articulation. But he looks good. I like him a lot. Very, very cool. But now we're going to move on to probably my favorite of the wave. Ichigata. Rocking Hopper. I love this suit. It's obviously, you know, heavily inspired from Ichigo. But it's Rising Hopper with kind of an Ichigo motif. It's a perfect marriage, and I think it looks awesome. I think they did such a cool job designing this suit. And they did a good job with the Soto figure as well. Uh, head looks great. He's got one little sticker for the mouth. And honestly, you're putting it over paint. So if you don't want to put it on, you don't have to. But it gives a little bit more detail. Um, there's a little black sticker here on each of the shoulder pads. This red around his neck. That was probably the hardest one to put on, I thought. Just to make sure it didn't stick or go in the wrong spot. Then these lines here on the chest are stickers. And the Force Riser, I have to talk about this because it, every time there's a Force Riser, it annoys me. So you can see how this sticker is one big sticker to put across this. But then there's an obvious gap. Like, I wish they would fill in this little section with plastic so that the sticker could just go across straight and look good. But you're kind of forced to push it into an empty space and then it kind of looks tucked back. It's just weird. But this is a second sticker for this piece up here, so that always comes out okay. And, you know, most of this looks great until you get to the very end and then it kind of sinks back. I don't know why they didn't just fill that part in. Like, why is why does it go back? It doesn't make any sense to me. But I complained about it with every Force Riser and obviously they didn't change it because the line is over. So, what are you going to do? Uh, sticker here on the side. Sticker here on the inside of the thigh. Um, these are stickers here, actually just this little gray piece and this silver piece, and then uh, these two blue pieces on the feet are stickers. But overall, he really, really looks good. I really like the look of this suit quite a bit. So I'm happy to have a figure for it, because he did not get the RKF treatment. So, very, very happy to have this. Um, he comes with extra fists and extra hands. You can see you get two sets. Um, so whatever you like. If you like kind of a gesturing hand pose, if you want a closed fist. Now these should be the closed fist not holding an item. Yeah, these are closed without the hole to hold an uh, accessory. These are closed, but obviously they have the peg hole for swords and whatnot. But he doesn't come with any weapons, so I don't think he used one in the movie, so that makes sense. But yeah, it's a great suit. It's a great soda figure, really sharp. All three of these, honestly, this is a really nice set. If you're going to pick up you know, one complete set. I feel like this is a smaller one. Uh, stickers aren't too bad. Honestly, stickers for these two are pretty light. Stickers for him were pretty intense. Mostly the base body had a lot of stickers. Uh, when you get to the armor part, because each one of these is two boxes, um, the stickers for just the armor weren't too bad. It was the base body that was the worst. But these two, honestly, for both boxes were not that bad. So I think this is a great set. Um, all three look great. Stickers weren't too bad for the most part, and uh, you get Ichigata, which is a great suit that I don't believe has any other figure. I don't even know if he has a figure art. Does he have a figure art? I don't know. If someone knows, let me know in the comments. But in any case, this is a great set. I definitely recommend picking it up. 
At this point, it might be a little bit more difficult to pick it up because it's taken me a bit to get to these. I'm so backed up. I, I was doing so well. I was pretty much keeping up with the Soto releases for Zero One as they were coming out. And then because of the delay, like 7, 8, 9, and 10 all came out within like a month and a half of each other. So I just got totally backlogged. But trying to get back into this because now uh, Saber Book 1 is out. And I want to get up, caught up on them as well. So uh, hopefully trying to move on these a little bit faster to get caught up. But this is a great set. Definitely recommend this. All three of these look great. Don't really have too much to complain about. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Thank you.